it's Andrea from the blog Pine and Prospect Home. It is a beautiful Michigan day here, so my husband took the boys out canoeing, so I can't wait to hear all about that. They should be home here soon. Um, but today I wanted to talk to you guys about thrift store kitchen staples. What are some kitchen items that I refuse to buy brand new because I can find them so easily at thrift stores? That's what we're gonna talk about today. So I can't wait to get started. I have 10 different things I wanna to talk to you guys about. And I'm actually doing this video in collaboration with my friend Davey. I will be sure to put a link to her YouTube channel before, but she shares all kinds of thrifting ideas, DIY projects. She shares about homemaking and motherhood. So I'm sure you'll love her channel. Be sure to check it out at the end of this post because she's going to be sharing some thrifty kitchen ideas for you as well. So the very first item on my list, I already have some of my items here laid out for you, um, would be wooden spoons, of course. <laughs> I've talked to you guys about wooden spoons and I think that all of my wooden spoons, almost all of them, are from thrift stores. I will actually leave a link in my blog post to my friend Sarah's blog over at Rocky Hedge Farm. She has a gorgeous blog. I love all of her thrifted items in her kitchen. I just drool over her photos. They are so gorgeous. But she has an entire blog post on how she cleans her wooden utensils and it's very helpful if for some reason that kind of deters you from purchasing secondhand wooden utensils. I would be sure to visit her blog post. But wooden utensils, I, I love looking through the wooden spoons at thrift stores and actually some of my thrifted spoons are my go-to spoons when I'm cooking. This one especially, this was a thrifted wooden spoon. I guess you can't really call it a spoon, can you? But I love this one for chopping up, you know, ground beef and breaking up onions and peppers that maybe I didn't slice through all the way. So that's a great one. But you can find so many unique wooden spoons at thrift stores. This is another really cool one that I found at a thrift store. It's a wooden ladle. And I just thought it was so neat. And, oh, there's all kinds. I love these little mini spoons. I can never help myself when I see these. I have to buy them. I can just, my boys love to bake with me. So these little ones are perfect for them when they're stirring or mixing things. Um, here's another cute one. I know it's not a wooden spoon, but for honey. That was a thrift store find. So, wooden spoons would be my number one pick as far as a thrift store kitchen staple. All right, the next item on my list would be mixing bowls. You know, glass bowls are actually pretty expensive brand new. Well, maybe not expensive, but they're not super cheap either. And you can find glass mixing bowls at thrift stores for just a couple of bucks. I love finding the kinds that have a little spout on them for easy pouring. Um, both of these bowls that were thrift store finds and I'm baking and cooking all the time So these have so many different purposes. They're even great for you know popcorn night um, I just I love looking for mixing bowls at thrift stores so my third kitchen staple that I thrift for would actually be rolling pins. This is my favorite thrift store rolling pin, actually. I just thought the color on it was so pretty. It's just this soft, like weathered wood color, and it's, it's just so pretty to me that I leave it out on my countertop, actually. <laughs> but I have another rolling pin, too, that I use all the time that was thrifted. They're great for rolling out pizza doughs, uh, cookie dough, of course, when you're making those Christmas sugar cookies. So rolling pins are for sure my number three thrift store kitchen staple. Number four on my list for thrift store kitchen staples would probably be dinnerware and glassware. Now, I know that this is technically probably a dining room staple, um, but since my kitchen cupboards are filled with these, I thought I would include them. But I see beautiful plates at thrift stores all the time. And because thrift stores have so many of these plates, they're usually priced really, really low, like 25 cents each. And a lot of times what I see at thrift stores is half off sales. So in order to sort of clean out the dish section, um, thrift stores will oftentimes put 50% off all of their dinnerware and you can find some really, really pretty plates. These little scalloped plates were thrifted for like 25 cents each. I have four matching plates that are a really pretty mushroom taupey color. 
uh, that go with these. And then I actually, a couple of years ago, I scored a bunch of false graph dinner plates to go with my false graph collection that I've talked about before here on my channel. So look through the plate section and the dinnerware section at thrift stores. And also be sure to check out the glassware as well. Um, I think that glassware is really easy to overlook because everything sort of blends together. When you look at that shelf at the thrift store, you just see a ton of glass and it's really tempting to just breeze over it, walk by. But if you pause and look, you can find some treasures. Last year, I found some beautiful blue sort of goblets with this really pretty daisy design on them. I use them in a spring tablescape and I love pulling those out in the spring and summertime. I also uh, recently found these pretty little juice glasses and I just had to snatch them up because they reminded me of my grandmother. <laughs> she, she would always make these big breakfasts for us whenever we were at her house. And um, I can just picture her now with her heavy robe on and her hair way up on the top of her head with her glasses and she made us what she liked to call egg pancakes, which were actually crepes and she would make them to order and ask us what color we wanted them. And so if we said blue or green or red, she would take food dye and dye our crepes <laughs> individually and give us orange juice or milk in these little glasses just like this. And so I had to snatch these up for my boys. They were probably 10 cents each um, at a thrift store. So look at the glassware section as well. I have so many beautiful glass pitchers from thrift stores. Um, all kinds of things that I have found in the glassware section. All right, number five for my thrift store kitchen staples would be cutting boards. I think you guys know by now how much I love cutting boards and I see them at thrift stores all the time. So when I'm looking at cutting boards, I like to look for boards that have a unique shape. So I have a couple here that I pulled down for examples to show you guys. You can see how this one has a really pretty handle that's sort of pointed and then this one has a really fun round handle and they both have signs of wear. They are both really pretty patinas, not too orange or red or yellow. They don't have like a high gloss on them, which I see sometimes on newer cutting boards. I love that they're sort of dry looking, but I love using cutting boards and Honestly, I don't always use vintage boards for um, cooking purposes. Sometimes I just use them for display in my dining room or my kitchen decor. But I would definitely call these a staple because I could most definitely use them if I wanted to. So be sure and keep an eye out for cutting boards. All right, the next thrift store kitchen staple that I wanna share with you guys are pots and pans. And obviously all kinds of pots and pans. I have found some brand new pots at thrift stores that I've taken home with me because they were in such great condition. But in particular today, I want to talk about some that I use, um, well, some that I use for cooking and some that I use just decoratively. So the first would be copper pots and pans. They can be so expensive. And I know this isn't a pot or pan. This is just one that I recently found at a thrift store and I have it hanging up with my pots and pans in my kitchen. Um, as you as you look in there, but this was the easiest to pull down and show you guys So I just unhooked it quick to show you but um, I found this at a thrift store and uh, I see copper all the time at thrift stores and it's much more affordable to buy thrifted than to purchase You know at an antique shop or even brand new of course another type of pot or pan to look out for is cast iron Cast iron can also be pricey brand new, but I see cast iron pans at thrift stores all the time. And I love using my cast iron pan. It's perfect for crispy potatoes and all kinds of things. So that would be my next kitchen staple to look out for while you're thrifting. Okay, next on my list for thrift store kitchen staples would just be baking and cooking supplies. I mean, there's so many things I could talk about. So I'm just gonna call this miscellaneous baking and cooking supplies. I have so many items here that I use for baking and for cooking that I got at thrift stores. I have a lemon juicer here that was just a couple of dollars at a thrift store. I love using this to juice lemons for salad dressings and marinades. Um, my lemon bars that I love to make. These are some of my favorite thrift store baking items. 
these little mini bread pans. I just thought that they were so precious and they have been perfect for baking loaves of bread for neighbors, for my grandfather who lives nearby. If I'm gonna bake a loaf of bread, I can just divide it up into these little mini pans and pass them out to people. And I wanna say that these were 25 cents each. I think I paid 75 cents for all three. Um, I also have a neat little scoop here that was thrifted. I love looking for things that are sort of vintage too. These cute little measuring spoons were thrift store finds, love those. Of course, I have to mention casserole dishes, baking dishes, all of those types of things. This was a thrift store find and it actually came with a lid, which is awesome to use for potlucks when I'm bringing a dish to a friend's house or to a family get together. So miscellaneous baking and cooking supplies. The next time you need something, maybe check the thrift store before buying it brand new. You might be able to find something really cool. All right, next on my list for thrift store kitchen staples, crocs, canisters, baskets, basically, items that you can use in your kitchen for storage. I love this crock that I found. I don't think it's an antique, it's probably a reproduction, but I use this for keeping all of my wooden spoons and utensils right near the stove so I can grab one easily, and then I don't have to take up drawer space. And it's beautiful, I love the vintage design. Um, also, glass canisters with lids. I see those at thrift stores all the time. I have two of these that I leave out on my counter. One was brand new, I paid full price for it, and I found a match for it at a thrift store for three bucks. And I love keeping my oats out on the counter, my flour that I use all the time. And these little jars are just perfect for storing those types of things that you use almost every day. So keep an eye out for crocks, canisters, and baskets too. Look around in your kitchen for maybe some open shelving or the space above your fridge. I like to keep a basket up there with some flowers in it, but there's some other items stored in there as well that you can't see. So think about different items that you can use in your kitchen for storage that you could maybe find at a thrift store instead of paying for them brand new. All right, number nine on my list, and I can't actually take this down off the wall, but I will show you some photos here. It would be peg racks and hooks. I found the cutest little peg rack at a thrift store for $2, like three or four years ago. I painted it gray and I put it on my kitchen wall and it's perfect for hanging towels. I've even hung herbs on there before when we grow things like mint and basil in the garden. I also love little hooks in the kitchen for aprons. There are just so many things that you can use peg racks and hooks for in your kitchen and I see these at thrift stores all the time. Last on my list, number 10 today, and then I'll be finished, would be vessels or vases for flowers. Um, maybe you don't agree with me and that's okay, but I almost think that flowers in a cottage kitchen are a staple. <laughs> You've gotta have flowers somewhere near the kitchen window or by the kitchen sink. And you guys know how I feel about faux flowers. I am a firm believer that you can find some really lifelike faux flowers, but keep an eye out for unique vessels for your kitchen that you can put flowers in. Um, whether it's a white ironstone pitcher or a false graph pitcher, like the one that I have, which was so beautiful this spring for holding some uh, tulips. Um, right now, I'm actually using a thrifted watering can, which just looks very much like springtime, and I think it's so beautiful there next to our new high back sink. So keep an eye out for different vessels that you can use for storing flowers in your kitchen. I think that that is most definitely a kitchen staple. <laughs> I hope some of these ideas inspired you today. Maybe the next time you need something for your kitchen, write it down and go thrifting instead of shopping for it brand new. I know that a lot of times kitchen supplies really aren't that expensive brand new and there's nothing wrong with buying it new. I do that every once in a while too. But you can find some really great stuff at a really low price if you're willing to do some digging at your local thrift store. Well, make sure you head over to Davy's YouTube page. Again, I will link it below for you and see what kitchen items she is sharing today. 
And if you're new to my channel, please be sure and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. Bye-bye.